Hello, this is Daniel, please. My name is Daniel, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install both Forge and Optifine for Minecraft 1.16.3. That's right, like I said, I'm going to teach you how to install Forge and Optifine for Minecraft 1.16.3. Now, before we get started, if you're into Minecraft videos like these, these tutorials, or videos about shader packs, mods, and texture packs, and even gameplay, then of course, be sure to hit that big red subscribe button. I would sincerely appreciate that. And then without further ado, let's install Forge and Optifine. So what you're going to want to do is open up your browser to actually look up Forge and Optifine. So we're going to start by uh, just a quick Google search for Forge, and then use this top one that says Minecraft Forge right here. Do not worry, all of the links that I use in this video will be somewhere down there in the description so you don't have to look any of these links up yourself. And uh, also to be sure that you have the correct links, you can use the links in the description. So once you get to this website, you're actually going to see Minecraft 1.15.2. Now if you use the link in the description, you're going to be on the right page immediately. But if you're not, you're going to want to go over here where it says 1.16, click 1.16.3. And that is the right version, that is the Forge version that we actually want. Now you can click installer right here. This is going to redirect us to an app page where we have to wait 5 seconds to be able to actually download Forge. So after 5 seconds you can actually click skip. Forge will be downloaded and especially if you're on Chrome you get this option here to either keep the file or discard the file. So what you're going to want to do is just click keep. Now for most people this will actually work immediately. You can just click this and um, an installer will pop up but for some people it won't so we won't get to the installation process just yet. What you're going to want to do if it doesn't work like that and if you click it it either doesn't open or it opens with something like WinRAR. What you're going to want to do is look up Jarfix. Just Google that or use the link down in the description. You're going to want to click that website right here. Once you're on this website, what you're going to want to do is look for jarfix.eac. You're going to click that. Then it's going to be downloaded. It's such a small file that it should be downloaded instantly. And then you're just going to click that. For most people, you'll get a choice where it says yes or no. And you have to click yes, obviously. And then after that, it'll say the jar suffix has been registered successfully, which is great. So you just click OK. And now if you go back to your downloads, just like that, you're actually going to see this file. But if you click it, it should now actually open a Forge installer. So now that everybody can actually open their Forge installers, what you're going to want to do is open it. Make sure install client is selected, which is selected by default, and just click OK. Now this is going to actually patch Minecraft and um, install Forge. So that was about 15 to 20 seconds, I guess. Um, it says complete here, so what we're going to do is actually click OK here. We actually now have Forge installed in Minecraft, so what you're going to want to do is actually close Minecraft and launch it again. And now it should have a profile that says 1.16.3, which is great. But now we actually want to download Optifine. So what you're going to want to do is actually go back into Minecraft and launch the Forge profile with 1.16.3 Forge. As you can tell from the warning at the top here, you can see that we're actually running Forge for Minecraft 1.16.3. So the useful thing about this is that you don't have to look up the mods folder manually. What you're going to want to do is click mods here and just click open mods folder. Now this is the folder where Optifine for Minecraft 1.16.3 is going to be. So let's download that right now. So once again, you want to come over to your browser or use the link down in the description. I'm going to go over to Optifine.net and once here, I'm going to click downloads. And then it's still a preview version, so what you're going to want to do is actually look for this version that says 1.16.3 and then click download right here. So once again, we get another ad page where once again we have to wait about 5 seconds and after that we can click skip. So we'll be redirected to yet another download page with some ads. What you're going to want to do is open up a new tab because this tab is usually going to redirect you to yet another ad page. So you're going to want to click download here. And then quickly after that, close the tab because it's going to redirect to another ad and um, this way you can actually prevent that from happening. So once you've actually downloaded Optifine, normally you would click it and it would install a new Optifine profile, but this time we're not going to be installing it that way. What we're going to do is actually come over to the mods folder that we opened earlier. Now let me just drag this to the desktop to make it really easy. There it is, that's um, Optifine, and this is the mods folder that we opened using this button here, open mods folder, so I'm going to do it again right here. So what you're going to want to do is actually drag this in here, and that should do the trick. So as you can see, if we come back into Minecraft, it's not there, that's because Forge can only load mods when Minecraft is starting. So it cannot load new mods when it's already running. So what you're going to want to do now is just relaunch Minecraft once more, and that should actually give us access to Forge with Optifine. 
So as you can see, we're in Minecraft again, but if we go over to options, video settings right here, as you can see, there are shaders and other settings right here that you only get with Optifine and in the bottom left corner here, it will say Optifine HD G3. And for us, it's pre two, but as time goes on, it might become pre three, pre four, and eventually it will become a full release. So it will be actually a lot easier to install this. So if you go over to shaders, you can select the shader pack that you have. If you don't have shaders, you gotta download them and put them in the shaders folder. So just click that, drag them in here like I dragged BSL shaders in here. And then once you get back into Minecraft, it'll be right there. You can just click it, click done, and you'll be using shaders with Forge. So just to prove to you that it has actually worked, I'm gonna go over into this world right here. And so as you can see, we're actually playing Minecraft 1.16.3 with Forge and Optifine and shaders. Now I really hope this tutorial helped you out in installing Forge and Optifine and shaders together. If it did, then of course, be sure to hit that thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And if you want to see more of these kind of videos, then of course, be sure to hit that big red subscribe button and hit the bell notification right next to it. And as always, I will of course, catch you in the next one. See ya.